Greetings and welcome to week five of the semester for Fundamentals of Public Speaking. Uh, this week is a fairly typical week for us. Uh, as you've come to expect, we have two chapters from our textbook uh, as well as a discussion forum this week. Our two chapters that we're going to be looking at from the Jaffe text this week are chapters seven and eight. Chapter seven, uh, we're going to be looking at the topic of doing research for speeches. Uh, this is a very important uh, skill for you to gain and to uh, do, achieve some degree of mastery over as a college student. Uh, it's one of the skills that uh, this class teaches uh, that is sort of a foundational skill and one that is very basic uh, to being uh, a college student and to being a scholar, and you'll learn about uh, or have your memory refreshed, uh, if you've learned about some of this before, uh, of some of the techniques of research, uh, different types of research sources, uh, and um, some of the ways in which these sources can be utilized uh, in creating speeches. <coughs> and then our other chapter is chapter 8. Chapter 8 is dealing with uh, supporting materials. What are the sorts of things uh, that you can pull out of the research sources that you've located uh, and utilize in a speech? What are uh, some of the types of things that you can use to support the main points that you're going to be making in a speech? Uh, we'll be talking next week when we talk about the organization of speeches about uh, main points and their role in the organization and structure of a speech. Uh, and this week we'll be learning about uh, different types and categories of supporting materials that you would use to support those main points in a speech. Hopefully uh, you have caught on to the fact that as we progress through the Jaffe text, uh, we are sort of progressing through the process of preparing a speech. Uh, as we go through each of these chapters and add uh, a new topic or a couple of new topics each week, uh, we are progressing through uh, what you will then put into practice when you get to your first major speech, uh, the informative speech, in a few weeks. Uh, you know, so we have looked at audience analysis, we have looked at topic selection, we have, uh, with this week, uh, looking at research and supporting materials. Next week, as I said, we're going to be looking at the organization of speeches, and then subsequent to that, uh, we'll be looking at creating outlines and then uh, speech delivery, uh, skills for vocal and physical techniques for speech delivery. Uh, so we're sort of moving through this process uh, and learning about it in the book uh, and then, you know, in the major speeches, uh, you'll be putting this uh, learning and all of these skills to practice. So the other big thing that you're going to begin to do this week is selecting your broad topic for your three major speeches. Uh, this week and next week, uh, you will select a broad topic that will serve as uh, the broad category within which your specific speech topics uh, will be selected for the three major speeches, the informative, the visual aid, and the persuasive speeches. Uh, I won't say much more about that uh, process of selecting a broad topic here, uh, because there is a bonus video uh, that you should watch. Uh, for this week, uh, which will go into more detail about uh, that process of selecting a broad topic and the rationale behind it, give you some examples of uh, some of the sorts of things that my students in the past have selected as broad topics uh, for their set of three major speeches. So watch that bonus video for that information. Then the final thing that you will do this week, which is due uh, at the very end of the week uh, on Friday evening, is your first speaker critique paper. Um, hopefully you had, after you got those 
guidelines, the first or second week of the semester, uh, started to sort of scope out or scout out uh, public speaking performances that you might attend and uh, use to write up your speaker critiques. Uh, the first of those critiques is due this week. Uh, you should go back and look at the guidelines or the, the um, assignment guidelines for the speaker critiques uh, very closely since this is our first one. Uh, Refamiliarize yourself with that. Uh, and whatever the speaker is, uh, speaking performance that you have attended or viewed, um, use the, those guidelines to craft that paper, uh, which should be approximately two pages, um, you know, with the details of that given in the assignment guidelines. Uh, everyone has the option, if you choose to use it, to, <coughs> to have one of your four speaker critiques be of a speech uh, that you see either on television or on video from a source such as YouTube. Uh, if you take advantage of that video option for one of your speaker critiques, make sure that the performance that you are watching on video or on television fits the definition of public speaking as we learned it uh, at the beginning of the semester. Do also remember, though, that you can you don't have to do any video speeches, uh, but you can do uh, just one of your four critiques as a video speech or one that you watch on video. And so if you do that uh, option for your first speaker critique, uh, for the remaining three speaker critiques for the rest of the semester, you are going to have to attend uh, live speaking performances. So if you have any questions about uh, the performances that you have chosen or that you might choose uh, to, to do the speaker critique uh, or anything in the guidelines for the speaker critiques, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer questions about that. Uh, and as always, I'm also happy to answer questions about anything uh, that you have questions about in terms of our coursework. Uh, so I look forward to getting those first speaker critiques this, this uh, week and to seeing your uh, lists of five broad topics.